Hey guys, John V here again from Phone Arena. You're watching our in-depth video review of the Asus Transformer Prime. This is probably the, one of the better known tab Android tablets out there in the market right now for the simple fact that it's the very first to come with a quad-core processor, the NVIDIA Tegra 3 quad-core processor. And also it's one of the few to offer uh, ice cream sandwich. It initially had honeycomb, but a quick update brings it up to uh, ice cream sandwich. So the latest build the platform. It has a lot of nice juicy specs. Um, we'll take a look at the design in a moment here, but for $500, you're getting yourself a premium tablet. So let's find out whether or not this is going to be the king of all Android tablets out there right now. Simply put it, the Asus Transformer Prime is actually one of the best looking Android tablets we've seen in a long time. We've liked the original Motorola Zoom and of course the Galaxy Tab 10.1 for its razor thin construction, but this guy just combines everything into one neat package. It utilizes some top notch, qual top notch quality choice materials. You have this metallic back cover, it shimmers, but it does attract a little bit of fingerprints, so it's not that bad at all. And on top of that, it's still razor thin, uh, 0 0.41 inches thick so it's a little bit thicker than the iPad 2 and also the the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 but when you hold it and you hold it in your hands you can definitely notice that it is very streamlined on in terms of weight there's a good amount of weight to it, it gives it a good sturdy feel it's on par to the iPad 2 in terms of weight not as light as the Galaxy Tab 10.1 you can tell the design is pretty st standard fanfare uniform bezel uh, the back has a metallic finish to it uh, giving a sturdy feel it shimmers it does attract some fingerprints but we have to admit that this is definitely one attractive looking device. By now we've seen quite a few tablets offering IPS panels but the one here with the Asus Transformer Prime takes it to a whole new level with its Super IPS Plus panel. It's a 10.1 inch display WXGA resolution so that's 1280 by 800 pixels. That's pretty much the typical thing we find with other similar sized tablets so uh, it does offer a good amount of detail and clarity with fine text even in the web browser not a problem at all but the beauty in it is the fact that it offers great contrast, contrast ratio show wide viewing angles up to 178 degrees and on top of that very neutral natural and distinctive colors realistic too that's again typical of any IPS panel here now there are two modes here you have standard IPS mode and you could switch on to super IPS mode when you have it enabled it just provides for better visibility in outdoor conditions it cranks up the brightness a lot more so you get you, know, you have a, a really good clear look at the display and overall it's very lovely Above the display, you have a front-facing 1.3 megapixel camera, which of course you can use to take self-portraits and video chat. Interestingly enough, uh, it doesn't allow you to do face unlock, even though it has uh, ice cream sandwich, just not an option available with the uh, tablet. On the bottom edge of the tablet, we find the proprietary dock connection port for data connectivity and charging. It's the only way you can charge the tablet. And these notches here in the left and right sides of the power port are just used for the optional dock connector. That's uh, where it fits into place. We can feel out the volume control here, but it's a little bit stiff to the touch when you press it down. You have a micro HDMI output, the micro SD card slot. You can pop in a card to increase its memory capacity. And you also have the microphone jack all on the left edge of the tablet. The only thing found on the right edge of the tablet is just the 3.5mm headset jack. The power button is positioned in the top left edge of the tablet but has a good distinctive feel just because it sticks out a lot and the responsiveness is pretty good too and you also have a directional microphone on top as well. Finally, there's an 8 megapixel autofocus camera with single LED flash right in the back. Uh, it features a f2.4 lens and backside illumination so it's allegedly supposed to give you better quality in low lighting conditions. Just like the previous unit, the Transformer Prime offers also a convertible option here with the uh, uh, keyboard dock here. Um, it's priced at $149.99, $150, and the tablet itself is uh, $500, so $650 together if you're going to get them both. Uh, it does offer the advantage of a full-size keyboard. Uh, you could tell it's a chiclet style keys, uh, though it's a little bit on the small side, tell it true. So if you have large fingers, expect it to be a little bit in the cramped side, but at least the responsiveness is nice. You also get a full dedicated row for numbers and some quick functions up top. 
The trackpad's good, good size to it, and uh, it has a good clicky feel when you press it down. The other advantage is that it offers also pretty much another uh, battery, you know, for the tablet. Additional 18 hours of extra battery life when you have it connected. You also have the op, the the convenience of a full size SD card slot and also a full size USB port, so it could connect a variety of different peripherals to this guy. And it's pretty cool just because it turns the tablet into a an ultra portable laptop of some sort, and you just pop it in. You you see the latch go on there. You could release it to, uh, un uh, you know, uh, uh, untether the tablet. When it's closed, it's still very thin, though you do notice some weight to it. But good feel to it. It's pretty nice and very useful if you want to, you know, ditch a laptop. Probably just go with a tablet. This is a great convertible, you know, uh, style to it, and definitely adds a lot of functionality to the uh, Transformer Prime. Aside from being the first tablet with a quad-core uh, processor, the Ace Transformer Prime has also the distinctual notoriety of the, being the first to offer ice cream sandwich as well. Initially, it had honeycomb, but a quick update brought up to Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. And to tell you the truth, it doesn't really deviate much from the honeycomb experience just because the overall look and feel of the home screen is pretty much the same. You have most of the widgets intact, like the bookmark widgets right there. You have some extra ones here, such as the weather and also clock and email one, which uh, really Really nice. Uh, the MyZine, which just cycles through some photos, um, and this other one here on the left side gives you some notifications. And um, you have this uh, one one click clean, which is pretty neat just because you press it once, it closes out any of the applications in the background, so it's not taking up memory or battery. But as you said, you know, it still has the, all the uh, all the aspects of uh, ice cream sandwich. It just looks very similar to honeycomb, nothing different. But once you get to the app panel, you can tell right away it is the ice cream sandwich experience. As a whole, it's nice, uh, but you know, if you've used uh, the Galaxy t the Nexus, uh, it's going to be very familiar, or even any other honeycomb tablet, very much similar. So all the talk about the Transformer Prime is it's a quad-core NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor and it's coupled with one gigabyte of RAM and to tell you the truth, this is the fastest Android-based tablet we've seen ever. It just screams speed everywhere you look at just by quickly navigating across the home screen. It tracks our finger all instantaneously. It has a good fluidity to it. Another basic task, just launching applications, kinetic scrolling, stuff like that. It is pretty much uh, the most responsive thing that we've checked out thus far. Even when you use uh, things like a, active, a live wallpaper or something a little more processor intensive, it still runs wickedly fast. Uh, even in, in portrait, it has no problems whatsoever. It maintains its stability, and by far, it's probably one of the best things about it. There's no slowdown whatsoever with this guy. Since the first time we're seeing Ice Cream Sandwich in the tablet form, uh, we'll quickly show you the email applications. First off, Gmail, nothing different. It's exactly what you find on Honeycomb. It utilizes that typical two-panel layout, left being your inbox and the right being the, your actual email content. You have all the features of uh, Gmail. You could search through uh, all your emails. You can label stuff. Um, it's in threaded form too, so you have all that neat features. As far as the other email application for all your other emails, same layout too two panel layout, left being your inbox and the right being the email content. It works well, nothing different about it. Since we have a large display to play around with, typing up law messages is not a problem with the tablet whatsoever, just because it's very spacious with its on-screen keyboards, also super responsive thanks to the quad-core processor, so it's going to keep up with your rated input. Uh, even for people with large fingers, not a problem at all. This is the stock ice cream sandwich keyboard, which we actually prefer in contrast to the uh, Asus keyboard, which is a little bit squished down, just because it mimics the, the swipe feature here. You can just swipe like that, and it automatically will put in the word for you. You have a dedicated row for numbers which is nice but if you're going to type each letter individually you got to go very slow or else it's going to register it as a swipe but either way we like it it works fine and uh, the, the stock, hunt, stock ice cream sandwich keyboard is the preferred choice for us Web browsing is an absolute joy on the Asus Transformer Prime just because with its quad-core processor, it's able to provide us some very quick, responsive, and fluid navigational control. So whether it's kinetic scrolling, pinch zooming, you could tell it's very, very quick and responsive. Top of that, it lays out the page like just like you see on a, on a desktop computer just because it has flash support and doesn't even stutter when there's a lot of content on screen.
To better show off the kind of processing power offered by the NVIDIA Tegra 3 quad-core processor, the tablet's preloaded with the global game right here. It's a quick demo just to show you the type of graphics you can expect with the tablet running NVIDIA's processor here. Uh, you can tell a lot of shading and it just looks very nice, smooth. You see some reflections and it just goes to show you if you're into gaming, this is definitely a tablet that you want to keep your eye out on. So if you somehow manage to use up all 32 gigabytes of internal storage with the tablet and also uh, put in some sort of micro SD card inside there, uh, you can always sign up for this ASUS service uh, which is called MyCloud which provides users with 8 gigabytes of cloud storage so you always have that to supplement everything else. With the ice cream sandwich music player, it doesn't deviate from the honeycomb ones. Actually, the same thing, nothing different about it. You have the cool 3D carousel here, it gives you a nice nifty look to it. And when you're, when you're playing a song, it shows you all the usual things, the track information, the album cover. Um, as far as the audio quality, it's surprisingly good, even though there's only a single speaker on there. It doesn't crack, all the good tones. And on top of that, you have a listing of different equalizer settings to better fine tune the audio quality. Combining its super fast processor, its gorgeous looking 10.1 inch display, it's just probably the great combination for watching videos. The video we have here is encoded in DivX 1920 by 1080 resolution, so 1080p, not a problem whatsoever, good details, natural looking colors, um, and doesn't slow down whatsoever, so everything runs very fine, and overall, it's a beautiful thing to watch. So here's the ice cream sandwich camera interface, kind of similar to what you find on a ice cream sandwich smartphone like the Galaxy Nexus, but also has similarities to Honeycomb here, just because the controls are on the right edge, you have the huge dial right there. You quickly focus in on something by just tapping anywhere on screen. You can do the same by holding down the shutter key. You get, you have, um, with the main lay layout here, you have the uh, toggle here for a digital zoom, quickly access the camera, video recording, or panoramic view, switch to the front facing camera, there's a whole different uh, set of options too, different flash modes, white balance, exposure, scenery, and the options here, which gives you some good manual controls such as ISO settings. And with the video recording interface, very similar to, nothing really different about it. You have the, the same uh, silly face effects and play with it. And overall, it's just very clean looking interface. For a tablet, the Transformer Prime packs a very respectable 8 megapixel camera which features an f2.4 lens and backside illumination, but as far as overall quality is concerned, we have to say it's good but not great, just because in very low lighting conditions, it tends to produce results that are, that are littered with a lot of graininess, soft tones, digital noise, and doesn't handle dynamic range that well, but for outdoor conditions, of course, it produces the best results. You get some, you have some great looking details, but a very, pr a very prominent, cool or color pre reproduction so it tends to come out a little bit bluish greenish at times but it handles indoor shots very well under artificial lighting Meanwhile, its 1080p video recording quality is pretty much the same thing. It looks very pleasing to watch, but overall, it's not stellar. Details are okay, and the other thing that we like about it is that it shoots consistently at 30 frames per second, so very smooth and quick, but when you pan very quickly, it tends to, it tends to have a lot of artifacting going on, some graininess at times even. You can tell here it offers continuous autofocus, so you get a, you know, a really sharp look with whatever is in front of you, but it handles low lighting conditions very poorly, uh, a lot of graininess uh, and on top of that just poor detail. With the Wi-Fi connection, we have to say we're very content with the overall signal strength. It's able to maintain a good connection to a Wi-Fi hotspot that's even 30 feet away, and it doesn't fluctuate that much. As far as GPS, though, it's a, a concern for some people out there just because we've heard reports that it doesn't work that well. And to tell you the truth, it is very weak uh, from what we've been testing out, both indoors and outdoors. Well, right now, indoors, you can tell it's, it has, it's getting something at least better than nothing, of course, but compared to some other smartphones and either the tablets and the connections very weak when you're out when we're outdoors it's a little bit higher than these numbers here but overall still weak but you're still able to use your GPS applications like Google Maps with no problems at all one of the main concerns with Asus Transformer Prime when you factor in its large 10.1 uh, inch Super IPS Plus display and the fact that it's packing a very strong and fast quad-core processor's battery life, but we can tell you right now there's nothing to worry about. We're actually amazed at the type of battery life that this tablet's able to produce. It's pretty much in the same boat as other previous tablets. Um, it's able to get at least a solid one day's worth of normal usage. We set the tablet to automatic brightness and we had it 
it on regular IPS mode, and by the end of the night, it was only at 50% battery life, so you could get close to two days with this guy. When we use it heavily and set it to super IPS, of course, we're still able to get a day's usage with the tablet. And tell you the truth, it's very good, um, especially the type of hardware it's packing under the hood. We're very impressed. All we have to say right now is just, wow, Asus has done a wonderful job with the Transformer Prime. And honestly, for the money, $500 for a 32 gigabyte um, Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich tablet, we are more than impressed, uh, being the very first to feature a quad-core processor. One of the, actually the fastest uh, tablets we've ever used thus far. It just shows you the amazing processing power that's uh, associated with the uh, NVIDIA Tegra 3 CPU. And on top of it, you have a gorgeous looking display, easily one of the best out there in the market. 10.1 inch display, super IPS plus, nice accurate looking colors, beautiful design with its uh, construction, solid materials, very chic, and you have the convertible aspect with the optional dock, so you add, it adds a lot of functionality. And for the price you're paying for this guy, $499.99 for this version, it's definitely a win and by far one of the best tablets out there on the market right now. So if you're looking for an Android tablet or if you're even looking at an iPad too, this is something you really want to take a look at a lot. It offers a lot of functionality and it's very impressive overall. So if you'd like to learn more about the Asus Transformer Prime, you can check out our website guys, phonearena.com. This is John V. As always, thanks for watching.